So, a while back I talked about the day before and uh, why you really shouldn't buy games at launch and let other people test games before you buy them. And uh, my this video is slightly late. I wanted to make this video and tell people not to buy Tekken 8 as it will have two issues. Number one, the online will be broken. Number two, the game will not run smoothly. These are the two things that I predicted, but uh, the, I didn't make a video because I thought I could be wrong, so I didn't want that to be documented. Uh, but I was right. And uh, I was right on one of the things. The second thing I'm not sure about um, the performance issues. People are reporting that there are performance issues, but I'm not really sure whether there are performance issues or they have they may have some kind of configuration, which is the reason why uh, there there are performance issues in Tekken 8 right now. And Tekken 8 is, um, I was looking forward to it. I haven't bought it, of course. Um, I will not buy it. And I mean, I'll wait about uh, two weeks to a month before buying it. And probably I will not buy it. In fact, I'll uninstall Tekken 7 today. And uh, I have other games that I need to finish, which I haven't. Probably I should do that. But um, yeah, so before you buy Tekken 8, know that there are issues in the game. And I had an idea that there will be mixed reviews. So let's uh, go ahead and do some research and see about see with the positive reviews and the negative reviews. Probably the people that are experiencing the fatal crashes are doing something wrong. So let's see what they might be doing wrong. Okay, so my webcam is right here. And I'll just read the size of it. And there you go. Okay, so most of these are, most of these crashes are like fix fatal error, please. This usually happens when you're playing online and uh, still haven't fixed crashing from Tekken 7. Uh, Tekken 7 used to crash as well. And what I believe is, is that there's something going on with the online connection. The probably the netcode hasn't been written properly, which is another reason why you probably shouldn't buy this game because if the netcode isn't good, it means you'll have input uh, lag and in everything that you had in Tekken 7. Like in Tekken 7, I've always complained about input lag. In fact, I even used a software which would uh, make the input lag a little bit better, but still didn't work. And there were desync issues. There were many things that were wrong in Tekken 7. So you can see that, uh, I would say, uh, like this uh, review right here, I'll just um, actually maximize this a bit. It's, it would say, it, I, it says, I would say it's a great game, but multiplayer is unplayable at launch. And that is bad. Every time I try to get a match online, it crashes to Windows with fatal, fatal crash that occurs from Unreal Engine, I guess. So that is something that... Uh, is really a problem and yeah so fatal crash is something that uh, is basically a problem in this game right now and most people over here are complaining about the online crash and most people will actually play this game because they want to challenge other players it's not really an online, uh, uh, not really an offline game, although you can play it offline. And it says crashes again. This this is another review. Crashes during online mult mult matchmaking, but offline and everything else works fine. So this is a problem. And I mean the netcode. I do not know why Namco is not good with their netcode. You can see that in Tekken, uh, Tekken Seven as well. I do not know what this Unreal Engine Polaris game has crashed every online game matches fixed. I do not know. I think the Polaris is basically the name of uh, the graphics series, uh, graphics card series. I'm not sure about that. So I'm ignorant. Sorry. Online is playable. Prepare for fatal. Online is unplayable. Prepare for fatal errors and game crashing on 90% of the games found. So this is three hours like ago. Probably they fixed it. I'm not sure. I mean, it'll be... I mean, I'll, I'll be very surprised if they fix it that quickly. Let's go to top and let's see the positive reviews. Okay. Um, 
Uh, get ready for the next battle. Uh, I suck at it, but still fatal error to play ten. Okay, so this is a funny review. This is supposed to be funny. Like uh, this one, it it is it is saying that there is a fatal error problem, but uh, this is for some reason um, thumbs up recommended. Uh, I'm not really sure what what is going on. Like uh, most of these positive reviews seem to. Okay, so this review is saying if your game is crashing, it is because you approach Tekken 8 with impure thoughts and heavy karmic debt. Debt? Karmic debt? No idea what that is. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, so basically... None of these positive reviews are making sense, really. Most of them are basically... Uh, they're, they're basically funny. They're trying to be funny. They're not really... Yeah, Fatal Error. You can see Fatal Error is mentioned over here as well. These are not really, like... Uh, these are not really positive reviews as far as I can tell. These are funny reviews. It isn't broken. The servers are up and I can find a bonus server. The game has crashed three times in about 80 minutes of gameplay. Something to keep in mind. So the crashing thing is even mentioned inside of this. In Like, even in, in, in the positive reviews, the crashing is mentioned. So... And over here, this, posi this positive, uh, this positive review said, "Harada, what happened online was good on Alpha and Beta. Laugh my L L M A O. Fix it." Um. So you can see that this is the reason why I didn't buy it. Although I am a Tekken Seven player, I've played Tekken Seven for a very long time, and it, it, it. I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense that you'd release a game which is basically supposed to be basically an online game like you you play basically um you basically play this game because you want to uh you want to basically uh challenge other players how can you do that if the game is basically not functioning properly in online and another thing too is that even if they fix the fatal error problem, the problem is that um, probably I will buy this game, but this is something that you should keep in mind that the netcode itself probably will have desync issues. Probably it will have other issues which will make the game less enjoyable. Um, I think that the netcode should, have, should be written properly. It shouldn't be this way. So... Um, yeah, fatal error is mentioned over here as well. Mahada's opponent is fatal error, you can see. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I mean, Tekken 8 is basically, uh, f uh, if there are so many fatal error uh, re reviews, then it's a f it, it failed basically. The this failed. It's not really... Uh, I mean, I, I'm very happy I didn't pre-order this. I mean, look at the amount of like... Uh, first of all, this is... Uh, most of these positive reviews are not going to give you good information. They're not. So, yeah, that's it, basically. The game crash... I mean, this positive review game crashes. Not sure why this is a positive review, but if if it is... If basically, if if uh, if the game is crashing, I'm not sure why would you give it a positive review. Anyway, so this is another example of why you shouldn't buy games at launch. This is what happens.